With the first pick in the 2020 NHL draft, the New York Rangers are proud to select from the Ramuski Oceanic, Alexi Lafreniere. All right, boys. Welcome back to this franchise mode draft to glory with your Gatineau Flying Frenchman here. Starting the uh, the year two uh, the year two simulation, and uh, I I really don't know what to expect here really. Um, last year I had a bit of high hopes, you know, heading into season one, you know, with uh, a couple good players, you know, Brandon Montour, Matt Duchesne, you know, high hopes and Brossois the goalie, and it just didn't pan out, man. Matt Duchesne had a great season, uh, but and Montour, you know, also also actually Montour had a pretty good season, but that's pretty much all she wrote, right? Uh, we finished dead last in the league, and uh, but that ended up being a good uh, a good draft pick for us there in uh, Joshua Roy. So hopefully uh, he becomes something good here for the franchise and makes up for that terrible first season here uh, in the NHL. Uh, like I said last video, I turned the scouting back to automatic uh, because uh, um, uh, which we call it. We we scouted specific players with the names that we wanted. But uh, we ended up getting almost, uh, uh, well, close to no information on those players. So what I'm going to do is just leave them on auto automatic. And they should say yes. So I'm just going to simulate a couple days here and see if it uh, kicks over. And the last thing here, before we get the uh, season underway, I'm gonna, we take, <laughs> we're going to take a new, uh, another look at, this, uh, at our lines here. Man, that was a struggle and I have to get that out. Jesus. But here you go. See that first line, that new coach, that offensive coach, works very well here. We got two playmakers and a and a sniper here. So hopefully they really feed uh, Obikubel. Because uh, Blay, uh, last year we had Chiasson here, and Chiasson and Duchesne produced heavily together. They 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 uh, worked really well. But then uh, Obikubel or whoever was on the la that left wing uh, was caught lacking because these guys were were doing everything right. So here we're trying to split it up. I'm trying to get uh, Blay going and try to get Broussard going here with uh, with Chiasson. So um, that's the mindset here. And then for the, the bottom six, well, we still have our grander uh, fourth line. And then we have our, uh, well, I mean, this is kind of a also grander third line. Because these guys uh, were not producing last year. So hopefully we get uh, at least some defensive play out of them. If they're not going to produce, at least do something, right? And then defensively, chemistry is a bit rough. Except here. I'm really hoping to, to grow Lozon here. He still has two or three years of growth at, uh, what is it? Yeah, medium top 6D. Hopefully that with that plus three, that grows to a high top 6D and he ends up being like 82, 83 overall. So he can be uh, uh, an actually a top four for us, right? So hopefully that, uh, that's what we get out of him. But here, the top, the top four, man, it's, uh, it's looking a bit rough, right? And that's scary because considering we got uh, this man in net, right? So uh, uh, that's why I said, you know, I don't have uh, high hopes for this year. <clears throat> but then in our AHL, we got some nice growth here. We got Scott and Gauthier as our one-two punch, you know, our two uh, prospect goaltenders here. All right, starting line here. It's uh, a bit like the NHL, you know, we got that big plus three on the first line. So hopefully we get a lot of points out of these guys. Uh, maybe grow Baudouin here to be a, a bottom six forward for us. Uh, but then here, see, we have some of our, uh, our young young draft picks here that, that we uh, drafted in the last couple of years. See, this guy was a, a free agent pickup, I'm pretty sure, uh, year one just to fill the roster. But uh, see, the rest here are pretty much all uh, uh, either uh, uh, expansion draft players or uh, dra actual draft players. And same with defense here, except for these two guys, but that's all right. Defense, like I said uh, last episode, we didn't draft that many defensemen in the first two uh, years of the draft. But we got Corbin. We're trying to grow Corbin and uh, Lejoie here, hopefully. Because uh, Ledoux and Soucy are pretty much capped out here. Let's go uh, a month. Well, almost a month. There we go. Starting off strong with two wins here. Alright, here. Uh, this is cool. This is the first, our first view at uh, this year's draft class. So, uh, uh, this is, yeah, okay, I, I, I've been waiting for this. I didn't look at this uh, before. All right, so let's see what we got here. Charnquist, uh, nope. Samuelson, nope. Brower, nope. Franson, nope. Wright, nope. Lambert, there we go. 
Brad Lambert. <laughs> Brad Lambert. We can draft this guy. 17 years of age. Out of Liga. So far, 11 games played, 3 assists. Ooh, that's uh, a very good start here. Uh, in an A-plus league. Another center, though. Another center. He looks like to be another center playmaker. Uh, if not, we got Percy here. N Nelson Percy. Alright, that's also not bad. A, uh, he's 5'11", though. 17. Probably, uh, I was gonna say, yeah, probably a two-way forward here. Savoie. Alright, man. Gaucher. Okay, we have a, a, a lot of options here. Uh, Komichi, Larson, Inglis. <laughs> Angelitis. Wow, what a name, man. Alright, it falls off here, though, by uh, the end of the first round. But that's okay. That's okay. Luno. Alright, 33. So if we finish bottom of the league again, uh, at 33 here, we could get a good pick in the start of the second round. Tristan Luno. Alright, defenseman already five points. Yeah, that's not bad. Henri. Ooh, that's alright, that's alright. Lamoureux, there's another one. Maverick Lamoureux, 6'5 defenseman. Jeez, man, that's a big boy. Alright. Yeah, I should pin these guys, eh? Vero, Antonin Vero, nice. Another Roi, man, there's a lot of... Pierre-Olivier Roi, wow, what a name. Alright, yeah, let's uh, let's go back and pin all these guys that, uh, that I saw going down here. Marlow, ooh, Jesse Marlow, that's cool. What's, uh, alright, just penalty minutes, maybe power play, uh, power forward, I mean. Lamoureux. Henry, there we go, there's another one, there's a couple more here, eh, Luno, yeah. And then there's a big gap here, I think. Oh, Zmit, I missed that guy earlier, there you go. Vutilainen, man, that's one, uh, that's one good one to pronounce here. Gaucher, Savoie, oh yeah, here's all the top guys, Percy and Lambert, yeah. Alright, so there's, um, there's the first view at the first couple of rounds here. <laughs> and Jason Spezza falls to waivers, yeah, uh, no, sorry, buddy. Another big win here, but, uh, Brian Dumoulin falls in the process, alright. Let's, uh, edit these lines here. He's, I think he's only on our penalty kill, so Xavier will let perfect fit here. Plus one, alright. Could give uh, Montour the plus one. How have these guys been doing, actually? Minus two? Yeah, let's, uh, here, let's give Montour a plus one here for a couple games. While, uh, Dumoulin is out. Nope. Can't claim you, my man, sorry. Enjoy your time in the minors. Man, we're off to a great start here. 4-1-1. One, and one. Damn, 6 one, and one Holy smokes, what a start here for the Flying Frenchman. The coaching change, eh? Made a world of a difference. Terry. Oh, yeah, here's your boy, Terry. You let me down at the draft, man, hopefully. Number 77, what a beauty. Hopefully you don't let me down here, Terry. All right, Doomlin's back, finally. Well, finally, I mean, it wasn't that long of a, a stretch here. Let's uh, get Willet out of here. I mean, I think he's been playing good, right? Yeah, plus two. Minus one for, uh, holy smokes, plus seven for, yeah, let's get Dumoulin back on that second line here with, uh, Savard. I think they've been tearing it up. How good you be? Yeah, plus seven. Yeah, let's get you back here. And you guys just need to figure your stuff out, man. Multiple players, I'm guessing that's, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, my, uh, yeah, big risk here. Is he a left winger? No, a center. Yeah, I have so many centers down here. Where's he at? Not that. There you go. All right, and then Joe Carroll for standards. Did I have a defenseman injured? No, I don't think so. Well, that's all of them. All right, the first month of simulation is done here. We have a 7-2-1 record, so looking a lot better than last year here. So uh, I think we just shook off the, uh, the first year uh, nerves. We just shook off the first year nerves here. That's what I'm trying to say. So before, before we check out our player stats, let's see how good the team is doing. 
Second in our division. All right, that's nice. Right behind Edmonton. Yeah, Edmonton was a powerhouse la last year. And oh, look at uh, Toronto. Really uh, falling behind here. I'm, uh, I'm going to have to go take a look at their uh, lineup, see what happened. Maybe they lost a couple of players last uh, offseason. Man, Edmonton. No losses on the year this month. All right. Goals four per game. All right, a lot better than last year. 3.3. And goals against. Yeah, our goals against is lower than our, uh, than our uh, goals for. So that's a great start. Power play is not too hot. But still uh, very early on in the year. And penalty kill is actually pretty bad. But give it a bit of time. It's still at 70%, right? That's not bad. So yeah, our first line, man. Obikubel. See, he's a bit lacking compared to these two. But keep in mind, he's an 80 overall. And same for Blade, man. He's an 81 overall. So Matt Duchesne really carrying that first line here with uh, that new coach. Getting that plus, that plus three on the first line. That's huge. And Blake Como, man. What is it with this guy? And then early... Uh, 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 he's a uh, early... Uh, what, what do you gonna call it? He's a hero early on in the season. Man, I'm having trouble getting my sentences out today. But yeah, Blake Como, what a stud. Eight points. He's got two game-winning goals already. What a beauty, man. This guy, I swear. Blake Como has to be a Frenchman until he retires. I swear, he's 35. We need to give him a one-year deal until this man retires, man. I swear. Blake Como, what a legend. Adam Gaudet doing great. Yo, our third line. Third line really producing. I mean, everybody is producing, except our uh, fourth line here. But they're only a minus one or minus two. And they have almost no points. So that means they were on the ice for like a maximum of three goals against. So that's what I mean. My fourth line is not bad. In a month, they allowed three goals. That's not bad. Brossois, all right. See again, Picard. The start of the year, man, Picard is an absolute beauty. And Brossois, it's not bad. It's a bit worse than last year, but he, like I said, he's an 81 overall backup goaltender. So you can't expect much out of him, but uh, uh, Calvin Picard, though, he's uh, he's playing great, man. He's playing really good. Brissouad just needs to step it up, though. He just needs to step it up. All right, I think I might uh, edit my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, special teams here a little bit. Because we're getting a lot of 5-on-5 five -five points. But special teams are a bit killing us here. And it's probably this unit here. They're probably getting nothing done. And Obi Kibel, wait, doesn't Shiasno have a rocket? Yeah, he does. 85. You get, let's get you on the point, my guy. Let's get you on the point. And then Obi Kibel, yeah, you got a bit of a lesser shot. So we can have you feeding up here. So we, have, we can have our first line here with Montour and, and Shiasno. I like that. That's, uh, that's good. And then Savard, Beauvillier. Beauvillier is, yeah, he's got a very good shot too. Bastion shoots right. Godet shoots right. Uh, yeah, I mean, can't do much, right? Obikubel. Let's get Chasson up here. And then Obikubel. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better in here, actually. On, on the first line, can I get? No, I lose that plus three, eh? Yeah, I can't move, uh, can't move anyone here except Montour. But I can't get a plus five anyways. Yeah, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make a difference here. So here, Obikubel has good. Alright, penalty kill. Uh, we can't, can't get that here. You're, here, let's just try, uh, screw it. Antoine Roussel is a grinder. Let's put him on here. You got a good defensive stats, right? Yeah, I got great defensive stats. All right, let's try you on here. She has someone's a stud. Godet's a stud. But, uh, so is Belmar. So let's keep this like that. And then Montour, you already have a lot of ice time, man. Can we, uh, ooh, we can get a plus three here. Get a plus three. Hmm, alright, that's interesting here. Yeah, I think I want to get a plus three here and a zero here. <laughs> a lot of X's. Godet is really carrying that penalty kill down there, man. Alright, and then... Uh, if we do... No, here I don't want the minus. Yeah, I don't want the minus. Alright, so that's it for line changes for the first month. Oh yeah, I want to check the uh, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs lineup. Because they're not doing uh, too hot here. At the start of the year. No, they have pretty much the same... Uh, very close to the same team, man. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe goalie? Oh, see, they lost Freddie Anderson, I think. Oh, no, he's... Oh, no, that's not the same Anderson. Yeah, they lost Freddie Anderson. 
That's a big loss there. I mean, they got uh, the king, Henrik Lundqvist, in there, right? But not the same as in uh, Freddy's, what, 88, 89 overall, right? So that's a big difference. All right, let's simulate another month here. Let's see how the boys do with the new uh, special teams here. A good year for rookies. That's what we need, man. We need uh, some good drafts here. Two losses to start the month here. Oh, and Alex Jasson falls to an injury. All right. Let's, uh, let's fix this here. Dominic Simon, yep. Oof, minus one. That's not good. Uh, Gadet, Tito. Yeah, let's get Tito up here, I guess. Actually, you know what? Blake Kamel. Blake kamel has been a monster here. There you go. Blake Kamel. All right. We lose that plus one, but you know what? Game one hero, Blake Kamel gets a chance. Special teams against Dominic Simon. He's a sniper, so. Pretty sure yeah, he's a righty. Yeah, oh, no, he's a lefty. Okay, well, here, let's switch these guys. And we keep that plus three, see? Oh, uh, and another loss. Man, what is this month? November is rough here. Another loss. And Vlasic falls. Holy smokes. The injury bug here, boys, comes out. The injury bug comes out and bites us in the ass. All right, Xavier Willett, get your ass in there. The plus one. Yeah, let's keep it like that because these guys, they're, uh, they've uh, fallen off here a bit. Montour, okay, these guys are doing better though. Let's hopefully we'll let boost Montour here. Because we still want him to grow, man. We signed him to that big long contract. So there you go. Finally get a win here in November. Holy smokes, that took long enough. Alright, well let you're out. Vlasic, you're in. Here, I just want to see your minus two. Oh wow, you were doing good with uh uh whatchamacallit here, uh uh Willet. Well, that's fine. All right, let's put Alex Chasson here back in the in the lineup. Dominic Simon here. Let's see what you did actually. Oh, okay, four points. That's not bad, man. That's uh, huh? That's not bad. All right. Well, still we want uh, uh, Alex Chasson back in here. And yeah, that was the only change, right? What if I put Blake Kamo up here? No, I just lose that plus one. I want to keep the plus one down here. They're doing fantastic, right? So, man, and we put uh, Blake Kamo back in. We start, uh, sorry, um, uh, Alex Chasson back in. We started losing some games. Man, what's going on? I want to put Blake Kamo back on the second line. Holy smokes. Hold the phone, boys. Hold the phone. All right, Alex Chasson. You come down here. There you go. We keep the plus one. And, uh, yeah, let's keep Blake Kamo here on the second line, because holy smokes, I guess he has that veteran leadership or something, because, uh, here, we just got a couple more games to simulate here, actually, at the end of the month. No, the 2-1 loss, come on, boys. Chicago, come on. All right, Florida, they're, they're, they're a crappy team this year, come on. And Ledoux, huh, <laughs> no. I guess we were due for an injury, eh? How fitting. That's this uh, injury taken care of. Another 2-1 loss. Man, man. This is just like uh, last year. We just uh, we have a good month, and then it just goes downhill from there. So, all right. Let's go take a look at uh, the stats here. Because I didn't change my lines that much, man. Only my special teams. And, yeah, we fall. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. From second best in our division to second worst. Holy smokes. Goals 4 per game has really taken a hit here. And goals against have uh, risen just a bit. Just a little bit, but our goals for have fallen a lot worse, so. Power play, holy smokes, our power play is a lot worse than it was. And penalty kill, okay, penalty kill is actually better, I think. Yeah, penalty kill, oh yeah, penalty kill is a lot better, okay. So, uh, it's our power play, it's our power play here, that's really hindering us. Yeah, see the power play points, they have uh, none, they have none. But here, points. See, the first line is doing good, man. First point. Uh, first line is almost point per game. Jeez, our third line. Uh, where's uh, Kamo? Yeah, Kamo has fallen as well. Man, I think he's gotten like no points since uh, <laughs> since the end of uh, the first month here. That's rough for. Uh, yeah, he's good in the in the early stages of the season, but then he really falls off every year. Well, so far both years, right? Dominic Simon did great, though. We might try to squeeze him back in the lineup. Alright, well, that's... Man. 
That's something. We've got to look at our lines. And yeah, see, Picard fell. Uh, that's what I said last uh, last year, and that's what happened this year again. He had a great couple of first games there and then really fell off. And Brossois is steady, man. He's uh, he's not the reason we're losing games here. He's re He really isn't. All right, here we need to do something with uh, these lines. So let's get Kamo back on this third line. Hopefully get these guys going. Maybe, maybe get Bovilia up here. Yeah, that could work. Because Bastion's been lacking recently. And Bovilia's been doing great, so... Hopefully get uh, get Bastion going here with Kamo. Then defensively... I mean, these guys have been doing a bit better. Oh, except this... They, they got a plus three, but they're doing so bad, man. Oh, uh, well, that's not gonna help here, man. It's... <laughs> like, literally, what? You wanna pee... If I put... I, I lose the plus three, right? Oh, no, I keep the plus three. I might try this then. I might try this. Yeah. Who did I uh, scratch again? Yeah, Matt Roy. Matt Roy, you can take a seat. You've, uh... I had high hopes for you last year. You disappointed me, and so far, you're not doing the greatest. And Lozon, I mean, not doing the greatest either, but we want to grow him. And with a plus three with Willette here, hopefully, uh... Hopefully, this benefits him. Um... First of all... Um... <laughs> Man, we can't move anybody, eh? Yeah, or we lose a plus three. That's the thing, man. That sucks. That sucks. And nobody else can take uh, face-offs? No. You can't? No. Only Duchesne can take face-offs here. So we're stuck with this. But, you know, let's try to do this. Chasson was good on this side. So you know what? Let's try this here. This might work. Because you're a playmaker. If you're on your strong side, you might be better at uh, dishing the puck here. And Chasson can just... He can just score from any angle, right? He's a, he's a he's a beast for us. So, but our second line power play here, we really need to to change something up. Um, man, <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, I don't know what I can do because I'm really limited on my options. Because if it's not if it's not Bastion, who is it? Right? Is it Blake Combo? No, of course not. Is it is it who who is it? Dominic Simon. He's not even dressed, right? Like, who, do, who can I put in here that can help us? None of these guys, right? Like, I can scratch... I can scratch one of our, uh... Our bottom, uh... Our bottom guys here, but... Like, Delorier. Actually, I could try scratching Delorier here. For Dominic Simon. Let's see if I lose my... Yeah, that gives me a minus. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want a minus here. Let's put... Yeah, I can't... See, I can't... I can't put Dominic Simon in the game, uh, in, in the lineup. I'm stuck with these guys. So, got to roll with it, man. Our uh, second line power play is going to have to suffer here. I switched these guys around. Hopefully that does something. He has a pretty good shot. Probably the best one on here, right? Yep. I mean, Bastion is not bad, but... Pff, I mean, Whatever. Whatever. She has some on tour like this. Villiers Savard, I mean. What else can I change, right? What else can I change? I'm very limited. Like I said at the uh, end of last video, we're still a bottom feeder team here. We can't expect much. Yeah, look at our last 10, 3, 7, and 0. Oh. That's the opposite of the start of the year. So let's just... Uh, Let's just keep it going here. We looked at uh, we looked at the stats around the league and we looked at our own stats and we did a couple line changes here. So hopefully that helps us for uh, the month of December. And uh, but if not, man, there's a lot of good prospects available in the the top ten or top fifteen. So it's not the worst if we have another bad year. I'm really hoping my uh, AHL team has a better year to get some growth out of these guys. Ooh, there we go. Get a plus three there. Get Jabin a bit more ice time. All right. I like that. Get Joe Carroll some more growth, baby. Big power forward. Six foot three, Joe Carroll. I hope he grows. <laughs> That'd be cool, man. That uh, uh, Napoleon Dynamite uh, haircut. All right, let's see if uh, the rookies we're looking at got any better. Man, our scouts suck. I need to, I need to go check. If they're on, uh, really on automatic or not, because, uh, we don't have any information yet, it's still, on most of these guys. 
Jeez, yeah, all the guys that we're looking at, we don't have info on. Alright, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully our scouts get their head out of their asses here. And actually scout. Because these top guys, man, we need to know. Oh, medium elites? I like seeing that, man. We haven't uh, had a medium elite yet. We had some top sixes and, t and some high top sixes. But uh, we haven't had some medium elites, so I like seeing that, man. If there's medium elites down here at 7, 9, 10, whatever, man, imagine the top here. This guy must be, like, franchise or something. Holy smokes. Oh, Mark Edward Vlasic breaks his leg, man. <laughs> Till the end of February. That's his third injury of the year. That sucks, man. Sorry, bud. Uh, Willette. Yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm, wait, hold on. Hold on, before I do this, how, how have you guys been doing so far? Oof, worst actually. So let's put, whatchamacallit, Roi back down here. Put you back over here and then put Ouellette. Instead of Vlasic. Because that always works out. Ouellette and Montour just work for some reason. So let's hopefully get Montour going here. Radko <laughs> Gudis. <laughs> I wish, nah. No. I mean, that's a good name. I could have, like, I mean, if I was allowed to pick up uh, uh, waiver players, I could have picked him up for that name, man, but uh, I don't pick up waiver players. If it was year one, maybe, but... Man, we're losing games here. I mean, here, I can stop the sim and go look at the problem, but... I mean, I think we know what the problem is, right? And I can show you what the problem is right now. This. <laughs> our first line is an 80 overall, 84 overall, and 81 overall. See? Like, our best player is Matt Duchesne. And this is why we're losing games, right? It doesn't matter what I do to the lines. This is as good as it's going to get, right? We can't uh, we can't buy wins here. Oh, you've been doing brutal on that second line, actually. Let's get Bastion back up here. And Godet was doing good. Here, let's do this. Let's try to spice it up. Let's try to spice it up. Nah, Ted gets injured again. Man, it's always our same guys that are getting injured, eh? Get Bigris in there. Oh, yeah, we'll lose that plus three, eh? Well, that fourth line is going to have to suffer for a little bit. Oh, I said switching all lines, man. Why? EA, fix your broken game, man. I swear. I said switching all lines. Why do I have to do this? Because he's not a, a defenseman? Who cares? Who cares? Literally, I said switching all lines. His name is there? Put the guy I said. Jeez. Now I have to do this. Oh, thank you. I swear, man. Yeah, he's right back. See, so I did all of that for nothing. Oh. Come on, not Ted. Just suck it up, princess. Could just uh, stayed in the lineup here for a little bit. And Brassois gets injured until the end of the month. So he's out for, what, like a week or two? So now <laughs> I have to bring up a goalie from the AHL. Uh, does Scott? No waivers. All right, cool. So yeah, let's bring up uh, Ian Scott. Let's get uh, Taylor Goatsy some starts down here. I mean, don't have much choice, right? I don't want to bring up Goatsy and him start in the NHL and get destroyed, right? Scott was here last year, so he knows the drill. He'll rotate with Picard here. Then we'll put uh, who? Oh, Schmidt is what the game gave me this year. All right, Alexander Schmidt. Thank you for your service, my man. There we go. We beat Pittsburgh, and Brossois is back. Uh, wait, he said he's available. Yeah, no, I don't want to put him back. He's not uh, fully healed. So I'm gonna continue here. Wait, I'm pretty sure he said uh, it said available, right? Broken hand. Ah, oh, Le Joie. No. <laughs> He's out for a little bit here. It's not good. Let's get Mayon in here. Corbin gets a plus three. Let's go. Plus three here. All right, screw it. Let's bolster the top four here. <laughs> let's go balls to the wall. And let's go see goalies if... Uh, did Scott play? Yeah, he played one game. Wow! Holy smokes! What a game, man. He played one game and did this? I, I kind of don't want to take him out now. 
That was awesome, buddy. Is uh, Brussois still injured with a lingering injury, or...? I mean, okay, he's back. Yeah, let's uh, send Ian Scott back in the minors, and let's get him playing some games. Because uh, if he's playing that good in the NHL, man, he's got to be starting in the A for sure. Goalies, AHL, Schmidt. Get out of here, get Ian, ooh, Ian Scott back in here. And how have you been doing, actually, this year? Uh, this is NHL stats. I want to see AHL. Wow! All right, 22 games. 9-23. That's uh, very good, considering the team he's got in front of him. That's really good. Taylor Gauthier, why does he have so many games played? They, he almost has uh, as many games as Ian Scott here. That, uh... Huh. That's weird. That shouldn't be happening. That's, uh, I don't know why that's happening, honestly. Yeah, he's uh, 10 overall points higher. I don't know why he's playing almost as many games as him. That's, that makes no sense, actually. <laughs> but man, okay. So let's get a recap of the month of December here. Really bad month as we fall all the way down to the bottom of our division here. Goals four per game. Uh, here, where are we? All right, it gets a bit better. It was at, uh, what was it, like 265 by the end of last month? So it goes up by a, a point ten here. Goals against, though, really takes a hit. This is where we really took a hit here. Uh, it went up by, uh, I think, point two. So, yeah, that's really not good. Power play went up a tiny bit, but still terrible. And our penalty kill still went up a little bit. So, yeah, our problem is still our power play. But... That comes down to the fact that it's our players, man. Like, see, when you have these guys playing on the power play, is that, uh, here, let's see our AHL team. Alright, a lot, uh, more underwhelming than I thought. Oof. Joe Carroll. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit underwhelming here in our AHL. Montour not having the greatest year. That's, uh, you hate to see that, man. You hate to see that. After the uh, extension he needed, man, you hate to see that. We really needed him to grow this year. Not doing too hot with uh, Vlasic out. All right, yeah, and see uh, our grinder fourth line here. Roussel, Belmar, and Delorier. They have about six points, and they're about a minus six. So they produce as much as they allow. So see, that's that's all right. For a grinder fourth line, that's that's fine. And let's see our goaltenders here. All right, see, Brassois is is, uh, is consistent, man. At a 320, uh, 3.5 uh, uh, goals against average, or save percentage, sorry. And then Picard is, again, falling a bit behind here. At a 79 overall, but that's to be expected, right? So we can, again, man, I can uh, fiddle with the power play. And you know what? I'm going to switch it up uh, a bunch here. So, you guys have not been working at all. Obikubel, you're coming down here. Godet, you're coming up. Chasson, you're going on the point. Bastion, you're staying down here. This side. Bovillia, you suck on the point. Actually, let's get Bastion down here. It's Savard on this side. There you go. Broussard, Obikubel, Bovillia. That's, that's pretty good. Blay, Godet, switch you guys around. There you go, alright. Big line changes here for the power play. Hopefully that uh, does something. Uh, what can I do here? Let's get Obikubel down here. Switch you guys. That's not bad. That's the line changes for this month. Because uh, there's really not much we can do, right? We're really, like I said, uh, multiple times, a bottom feeder team. We're going to end... We're going to end the year at the, the bottom of the league, so. We can't expect too much here. The What we want, though, is growing our players. Like we did with uh, uh, Alex Chasson last year. Or uh, 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 Obe Kubel also, growing to 80 overall, so. Broussard has made a glass, I swear. Another injury here. Scott. There we go, a big win. I don't know if that was Scott in net, but uh, that's a big win. Oh, you got a sore knee? Poor you. Come on, man. Tough it up, Buttercup. 
Can you take face-offs? Yeah, all right. Let's get in there. All right, Rousseau is fully healed. Let's see if uh, Scott played a game here. Yeah, he played another one. Wow, man, this guy. Another win. Yo, I can't... What do I... How do I justify? You know what? Screw it. Picard, you're out of here. Get Brossois back in there. And Scott, I want you starting here. Oh, well, I mean... Hold on. Hold on. It's gonna put Brossois back in here, eh? Oh, I mean, okay. Brossois did good. Let's just... Uh, let's just keep Scott as uh, the backup. Until... Uh, until... Uh, what should we call it? Another guy comes back from injury and forces him to go back in the AHL. Because, man, he's doing great. I know I want him to start in the AHL. But, uh, see, the team is not, you know, that great anyways, right? So, so, let's keep him up here for now, man. Let's see how he does. All right, let's get Fontaine back in here. Uh, who did, uh, I think it was Salo, right? Fontaine, your centerman. I think he grew. He was a 71. Barlage grew. Ooh, all right, all right. Who else grew here? Jabin, I think, grew again. I'm pretty sure Jabin grew again. We're getting some constant growth out of this guy, man. He's, uh, what is he? AHL top six forward. But he's growing, man, I swear. Give him a shot. And, uh, he can go far with it. Who else grew here? Uh, I mean, he's injured, right? So we can't really see. And go see is still a 69 overall. But he's playing too many games, man, for 69. But his stats, yo. Low key though, Frederick, uh, sorry, Taylor Gauthier, really good stats here for a 69 overall in the AHL, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, future looks bright for this kid, and Ian Scott didn't play a game yet, here, let's uh, give him a shot, I don't know if, uh, here against New York maybe, or Ottawa, I don't know if uh, Scott played here, but if he did, he got the win, oh, Ian Scott falls, I'm sorry, did I play him too early, <laughs> Injured his arm here. Ah, that's okay. We got Picard here. Let's get uh, get Picard back in the lineup and Brissot back starting. We won it though, so I think uh, Ian Scott here. Let me go see his stats. I think he's still undefeated here in the NHL. I should have looked when I swapped him out, eh? Yeah, four wins. A save percentage of 936, 2.01 goals against average. This man is a monster. A hundred saves in four games. You are a beauty, my man. 23 years old, 78 overall. This man, this man, he's almost playoff ready, man. <laughs> 71 poise. Nah, I'm kidding. But uh, that's great to see, man. From one of our goalie prospects that we picked up in the, uh, in the uh, expansion draft. That's huge. All right, so our record's looking a lot better. So let's finish off uh, the month of uh, January here. We've got a couple more games left. Oh, and Corbin gets injured. That's uh, our prospect we're trying to grow here on defense in the AHL. Man, so two huge injuries on the left flank on defense. Yeah, we have to put a uh, forward here. Terry. You going in, Terry. Oh, that's rough. That's rough, man. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, all right. At least we get a plus three here with these two plugs. Can we, uh, don't have, oh uh, yeah, we can't have not a plus three down there. Uh, minus three, sorry. So here, let's get the better player at least. And then Terry can play on its good side. All right, so that's pretty bad, but at least it's not for, uh, not for too long here. Now we have Terry down here. Pierre Edouard is fully healed. How, uh, how has Simon been doing? All right, not too great here on the fourth line. He was more of a second or third line player, eh? Uh, Belmar is a left wing. Go. Belmar, alright. Solid penalty killer for us. Man, we're getting wins here. Holy smokes. We're, uh, what was the TSN turning point? Was it bring Ian Scott in the lineup? Man, we're winning games since he's been here. Uh... I, it's, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I want to put him back in the lineup. He's just been... He's been literally TSN turning point for this team here. Ian Scott, the young man. 2-0 win. Was that his win? Was that Ian Scott's win right there? Let me go see. Oh, wait. I'm in the AHL right now. Oh, oh I hate... Let me come back later. I'm not out of the edit line screen. 
stupid game. Another injury on defense. Holy smokes. Man, they're falling like fruit flies right now on D. All right, we got two forwards right here. Salo and Bigris. Uh, yeah, let's keep it like that. All right, NHL, I want to see you. Uh, eat some hay? I can make things out of clay and lay by the bay. I just may. Hold on, I hear the, uh, I hear the call out here. <laughs> Thank you, my man. <laughs> first donation on recording. <laughs> you get the first for everything, eh? I swear, man. <laughs> but Lauren Brassois here. Uh, he actually gets handed a loss here. Uh, doesn't get the shutout. So I guess he played it a, a different game. Uh, I guess Brassois started that last game, got the shutout. Yeah, he got the shutout. But uh, all right, yeah, Ian Scott, I guess, lost this game here 3-0. Okay, that's okay, though. That's Tampa Bay. He gets handed his first loss in his young uh, NHL career. Another W here. Man, our record is back in the green, eh? How fitting for the green men here in Gatineau. The frogs, baby. All right, let's get Sallow here. Ooh, good thing, uh, good thing, uh, whatchamacallit, Corbin came back here, or else we would have been short a man, so that was clutch. Clutch Corbin there. All right, we ended the month on a positive. Man, this month, last year it was uh, November, I think, our strong month. This year, January. Holy smokes. We lost, what, two games in the whole month? 5-1 to one to Edmonton and then 3-0 to uh, Tampa Bay. That's unreal. We're uh, making a push to the playoffs here. We're only a couple points back. Yo, that, that this month. TSN turning point. Ian Scott being brought up to the NHL. That's huge, man. That is huge. And actually, maybe the power play change I made, eh? Maybe that uh, had something to do with it. See, we're still bottom here, but we're only two points out of a playoff spot. This is what I mean. We've uh, separated ourselves from Ottawa. So this is huge, man. January was very good to us. Goals for per game went up a bit. See, it went up by, what, 0.2, 0.3% or something? And then goals against per game. See, this is massive. Went down by... Uh, it went down all the way to uh, to three. So that's huge. We're almost catching up here on our goals uh, plus minus differential. Actually, no. Power play is still terrible. All right, so that did nothing. But our penalty kill it just keeps getting better. I swear we're a penalty killing team somehow with the offensive coach. Let's see our last 10. 9 1 and 0 for our last 10. These men have been tearing it up. These line changes, I guess, were just what they needed, eh? There you go. There you go, Beauvillier. Yeah, see what I mean? See the plus minus, how it drastically changed? Everybody was at like uh, minus 5, minus 10 here. But now we only have uh, Bastion down here in the double digits. Oh, uh, and actually Delorier too on that fourth line. But that's the fourth line. Yeah, I don't care about that. He's the only one on that fourth line. That's in the, uh, in the minus. Uh, in the double digits, sorry. So let's go see our goaltendees here. Ian Scott, what a beauty. Five, six game plays, only one loss. And look at this, 932. Oh, oh I, I really hope this man develops, man. Because looking at this uh, the stat line, oh, it's beautiful. And Laurent Brossois, really turn it around, man. I think uh, I think having Ian Scott instead of Picard dressed behind him, maybe he, he feels less pressure. Because you know Picard, he was almost the same overall, you know, almost the same age. Uh, almost the same stats, right? So maybe it was putting pressure on him. But Ian Scott, the younging, with no expectations, maybe that's just taking a weight off his shoulder. And he gets in there and actually wins games when Brossois needs to, to rest, right? So that's huge. Maybe maybe that's what Brossois needed. Maybe we sent Picard down to the minors, eh? And let Scott finish the year with us in the, in, in the NHL. But I don't want Picard to get picked up in the waivers, though. That's the thing. So maybe we don't do that. We'll see. We'll have to see. So yeah, I won't do any uh, line changes this month. We've been uh, we've been going really good here.